Greetings Ventures, this is Lorne, your Guild Advisor, and as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm not going to be talking about Damamo, not the Damachi Light novels, the manga, nor the anime, but something that may just cross over your mind because it's not too common of a thing to order an art book. And right now, I got from Right Stuff a little tiny bit early because they like to ship stuff out when they get it in stock. And this actually doesn't release until December 17th, so I'm really grateful for that. Uh, but originally, it was supposed to release uh, in August alongside Volume 14. Thank you, Yen Press, for these delays. It's killing me inside, but Volume 14 of the main series should be coming out on the 31st of December. So, not too much longer, guys. Hopefully, there's not another delay, like, on its way to sneak up on us. But anyway, back to the Art of Sorbertoria art book. Uh, for those of you that don't know... Uh, there's three different kind of series in Damachi. There's the main series, Sword Oratoria, and then the Familiar Chronicle series, uh, which only has episode Ryu right now for English. But uh, episode Freya just recently released in Japan. So that's also done by a different illustrator. But the main illustrator of the main series of the light novels is Suzuhito Yasuda. And you can see his style here in volume six of the main series. And then... Uh, for Sword of Artoria series, here's volume 8. Uh, the art book actually covers content up to volume 8, so be careful of some of the stuff you read in the art book if you do get it, if you haven't like seen the material in Sword of Artoria up to volume 8. But this is Kiyotaka Heimera's uh, Sensei's art style. And you may recognize Heimera Sensei's name because they are also the main illustrator for the A Certain Magical Index series, which is also a very popular light novel. It has three anime season adaptations and it also has a spin-off called a certain scientific railgun which is also getting its third season uh in starting in january so that's very exciting as well so Heimura sensei is a very renowned light novel il illustrator and they are in charge of illustrating these sort of oratoria light novels and then niritsu sensei is in charge of illustrating the familiar chronicle series so they all have distinctive art styles uh, but I would like to say, I think that Heimra Sensei has the most consistent art style. Like, there are some illustrations that I really enjoy uh, with Yasuda Sensei's art. I do like how pretty Nirinitsu's art is. But uh, when it comes to, like, the art overall, I think Heimra Sensei has the most consistent art style. And uh, more often than not, their illustrations are just beautiful. But as for what's in the art book itself, of course, there's a lot of the illustrations found in the Sword of Oratoria light novel series, as well as rough sketches, some character design sheets. Uh, there's also, uh, I'll flip to the page right here, but uh, for volume eight of the Sword of Oratoria light novel series, this is the normal edition art, but Japan actually gets limited edition covers for some of the light novels. And you can see that right here uh, with Raul, Lafia, and Elfie. So it's really cool to see that we finally get to see what those illustrations look like through this art book. There's also a lot of commentary on how they approach the artwork, like some of the designs they were thinking of. There's also some context for a lot of the illustrations as well, because uh, there's illustrations in here that were actually part of promotion material for the Sword of Tori anime, as well as uh, the illustration of eyes on the end card for episode 12 of the main series. And then uh, over here, actually, uh, there are some designs you would never have seen uh, in the light novels because this is the the character design for the younger version of Tiona and Tione uh, as they are in volume 6 of Sword Oratoria but you really only see their backs but here you can see the design that Heimura Sensei made for their front and then in the back of this book so this book is styled like a Japanese book so uh, normally uh, in English you read a book like this but uh, this is kind of like in a reverse and you read right to left but in the very back of this book, uh, you can see an exclusive interview between Amori Sensei, the author of the light novel series, and uh, Heimura Sensei. And it just has a, like a discussion between them and how uh, Heimura approaches some of the illustrations and uh, Omori just question, having some general questions about the artwork and how they approach the characters. And there's also something that's very interesting. There's also a short story that Omori Sensei wrote for the art book itself. And it takes place after Volume 8 of Sword of Oratoria. So definitely do not read this short story if you haven't read that far in Sword of Oratoria yet. If you do get this art book. But it's really cool to see that we're still getting Damachi material translated uh, in this 
wait for volume 14 of the main series. So that's, I'm very grateful for that. So definitely check out the art book if you're interested in seeing like the commentary and the approach that Heimer Sensei takes on the characters. If you just want to see cool illustrations and bigger versions of them uh, from the light novels. And also if you want to see that short story that Amori Sensei wrote for the art book. So definitely check that out. I got mine from Right Stuff. I believe it's cheapest on there. It's 22 bucks the last time I checked. And on Amazon it's $30. So go check your various book websites. But right now I think Right Stuff is the cheapest. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I know not many people keep an eye on stuff like art books. But this does have some cool commentary. That short story and then illustrations that we haven't seen uh, in our light novels because they are part of the limited edition Japanese covers that we don't get here uh, in the western areas. And one thing that Haimura Sensei does state is that uh, their favorite character is Tiona and their favorite male character is Finn so I thought that was interesting. It's cool to see that the illustrator has favorite characters. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a bit different but I do like covering everything Damachi. So if you want to see more Damachi content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. And as always, continue enjoying your time adventuring in Rario and a dungeon. This is Lauren, your guild advisor, signing out.